Welcome to Kelpie Figurines. This video is a request tutorial on how to make a model horse holder. For the materials you'll be needing embroidery floss, a thin piece of paper, silver nail polish, a tissue paper, thin wire, I'm using 0.4mm, pliers, scissors, and wire cutters and obviously some glue so let's start first i'll show you how to make this buckle just follow instructions on the video So this is how it should look and you obviously need two of these, try your best to make them similar in size and don't worry if you don't get them right at first, uh, I don't either and make sure the size is right for your horse. We'll be doing this halter from embroidery floss but it is obviously too thin for little bit scale models so to make it broader you have to fold it in half and glue both strands together. Make sure not to put too much glue because then the floss will get very stiff. So this is more or less how it should look like. The strands should be nicely glued together. And now using the floss we can start making the holder. First let's attach the floss to the buckle. Like this. Now you should place the buckle where it should sit on the horse's head and measure how long the nose band should be to end in the same place on the other side. So now we've got our nose piece finished and this is what it should look like. Now I'll be making the rings out of wire and they'll be going here where you can see them on the video and just because you may not know what happens here I wrap the wire around my pliers twice and this is why I get two jump rings the same size. Now prepare some embroidery floss and attach it to the ring like this. and. This is going to be our cheek piece, so measure the right length on your horse, like this, and then cut the right length and attach it to your halter, so it looks something like this. Now, as you probably know, you need to repeat this step on the other side. Now we are doing a buckle that will go on the crown piece and we'll make it adjustable so again just follow me on the video when that's finished attach some double floss to the middle part of the buckle like this and cut it at a short length and this is going to be attached to this piece on the holder so we should have something like this at the moment now glue a long piece of floss to the other jump ring on the other side and after securing the end of the floss with some glue thread it through the buckle like this and you'll have your crown piece finished and it should look like this you can trim the 
the tip to the desired length. I am also going to paint the end of the strap with some silver nail polish to imitate um, a metal tip. I don't know what it's called, how to say it, but I think it's a cute little detail. To make all the buckles more realistic, I also sometimes paint them with nail polish to uh, make the ends seamlessly blend to the rest of the wire. But here's a reference uh, before and after. So it's just up to you if you want to do it or not. Next, we'll be creating a chin piece. And for the easier way, you just attach one long strap of embroidery floss like here on the video but if you want something more fancy that will fit more model horses then here is a short video um how i made it uh, adjustable it's just the same as on the crown piece you just attach a buckle so with the chin piece attached, we have um, half of the holder, so now we need a throat latch. To start, we'll be needing a small hook that will allow us to um, close the holder. <laughs> So this is how it looks and after attaching a long strap to it, you can now close the holder and measure the right length of the throat latch. And then glue it. We have almost finished. Now we'll be needing a Mm, a big ring, big enough to smoothly move around on the chin piece. And we'll be needing a triangle piece too. Let's now attach a strap to the triangle piece on one side of it. Glue it like this. And use the other end to glue it around the throat latch in a way that it still can move around like on the video. Now, for the last step, we'll be using the big ring to connect the triangle piece and the chin strap. So, we have our holder ready. And now, I also like to add some details. So, the first one will be a little tag. I'm using a thin piece of paper and Write a name of the brand 
on it as small as possible. Cut it out and glue it right on the veil. And the second detail is to use tissue paper. Cut very very thin straps of it and then you can glue them here like this and I think it makes the halter much more interesting. And the third thing is that you can also make a padding for the halter. So I'm using fleece. You can cut uh, small straps of it and glue them under the nose band and crown piece. And this is how it looks. So halters come in different colors and variations. So you can decorate your halter any way you want to match your horse. I didn't actually think that anyone would want to see another halter tutorial because there's a ton of it. But maybe someone will find something new in this video. Anyway, here are some pictures and thank you for watching. And hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!